There are five new AI tools that got released just this week and I've been testing them out and I think you're gonna find these really useful. Okay, the very first tool is called agent.ai and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna be a network of AI agents to help you get things done. And on the bottom, this is created by someone named Darmesh who I've followed for a long time. He's the CTO and co-founder of HubSpot, a massive company. So he knows how to set these type of things up. And I'm gonna show you just a few of these. You could test it for yourself. This is free to use right now. And this one, company research agent. And this is how simple it is to use. So type in a company you wanna research and you could type in the domain name or just name of the company, run this agent and look how well this works. So this agent right here pulled everything I wanna learn about this specific company. So if I go down here, look at this table of content. I'll just go through some of this. Competitor analysis, you have that right on top. Funding data, it tells you about website traffic. It tracks their social media following on different types of social media platform, how fast they're growing over time, a full earning report, the Glassdoor review. It even does organic keywords and where they rank paid keywords and how much it's costing. These are like Google paid keywords. I mean, this is just incredible the different categories. And I was wondering, is this just for public companies? So I have a production company. So I looked up my production company and look at this. This is my production company's very small company I've had since 2009. And it pulled up again, all kinds of things that are related to my company. Not obviously not as much as Nvidia, right? But it's still, I just wanted to make sure this is not just something for public companies. And I tested a couple of my companies here, I ran an agent and it worked there too. And I really like this one, Website Conversion Optimizer. So if you type in skillleap.ai and just type in any website you want, including your own website, if you have a website, it pulls in the website and it's gonna go to work and it's gonna give you a ton of different options on how to improve this website. I notice it typically gives you 10 different recommendations and helps you improve every little section of your website. And I would think maybe like seven of these I'm actually gonna incorporate to improve my landing page. And it looks like they're training a bunch of other ones. I'm sure he's gonna make this a big network of different AI agents. And look at this domain name, agent.ai. Darmesh gets some of the best domains I've ever seen. Okay, the second tool I wanna show you is something that Canva just rolled out this week. So they had something called Canva Create this week where they basically almost reinvented what Canva is. But some of these new AI tools they released in Magic Studio are just absolutely insane. This one right here, Magic Design for Video. Let me just show you this one. So the way it works is I just uploaded a video. I just made a Facebook ad recently. So let's say I have this video here and it's long. It's like a minute long, right? Let's say I wanna go ahead and see if I could take little snippets here to post on social, maybe five seconds here, 10 seconds here but I'm not gonna go through it, cut out sound bites, do a whole bunch of editing here. So basically there's this option right here, edit video, it's called highlights, it just came out. And what it does is it analyzes your video and it pulls in just the best parts. You see the parts that are grayed out are not selected and it puts these little sound bites together. And right here, three second one, eight seconds, 12 seconds. And I could select one of these and add it to a different type of design and then I could export that and publish that. And it took like seconds to do this, right? This is typically something that takes a long time. There are other AI tools dedicated to doing this, but having it inside of Canva and then just being able to create new designs from these cuts that he makes right on top, basically selecting it based on the words spoken, it's gonna be a great time saver. And I'll show you just one more option that comes in really handy inside of this Canva Magic Studio. Basically, they have this thing called Magic Grab, so right here. As you highlight different things in here, it will select it. So if I wanna just select this person right here, let's say I don't want this person in this specific image. And usually if you delete it, the background is just gonna be missing something, right? So you wanna use this magic grab. I'm gonna grab this person. And in a few seconds, I could grab this person. Let's say I just wanna delete that. And look how clean this is. This is only something that was possible with Photoshop to this level of detail. And you could even cut people out and then take that and use it. Like in a YouTube thumbnail, you want a transparent background. This lets you do it in a few seconds. And they have a ton of different tools inside of Magic Studio that lets you do exactly that. So explore that on your own. They do have a free trial now that is extended for Magic Studio, I believe. So you could test it out for free before paying for it. 
This one is really interesting. It's called Lumi.ai, and it looks like it's a stock photo library, except it's all generated using AI, and they have a lot of filtering option because most people are not going to take the time to figure out how to use Midjourney and prompt it correctly. You'll have to probably take a course or two on that, or using Dolly. This one, basically, really good AI artists have created all kinds of different things, all kinds of different images, and you could basically download them royalty free. I don't see any type of pricing here, so I'm assuming it's totally free here to use. So you could select any of them, go ahead and download it here just by clicking on download. And they have a really nice search tool right on top. So if you wanted to search for something specific, let's click on just this nature category to see what they got. So there you go. If any of these work for your website or for your campaigns, you could just go ahead and click on them and then download it right from here. Okay, this next one is a brand new model, a brand new large language model from the company Mistral. So if you're not familiar with this, if you go to chat.mistral.ai, this is a chatbot, it's similar to ChatGPT, but it's totally open source. It's a French company, and they have a bunch of different models over here. So some of these, like this one, is Mistral Large, is a really good one, but they just released a new one called Codestral. So this one is just specifically designed for coding, and then you could ask it a coding related question. And I just tested it for a little bit. So I asked for a timer. I just wanna have a little quick timer I could just throw up on the computer as a standalone app. So I could see just very quickly how long things take. I'm sure there's apps in the app store I could get for that. But just as a quick experiment, I copied this code here. And these usually run in your terminal app in your computer. So I ran the terminal app. And here's a simple little timer I got. So it just has start, stop, it's gonna stop at three seconds. It give me a pop-up, reset, and you could just keep using it like this. So I just had it, uh, let me minimize this. I just had it right here on top of my computer like this as a little window, just to see like how long does it take me to record a video, for example. Then I could just have this running. And that was just one of the things I just built with this, and it did a good job. No issues, no debugging, ready to go. And this last one just came out and I made a dedicated video for it, but this is something inside of perplexity.ai. If you go to the library tab and press the plus sign and click on pages, it basically lets you create blog-like posts or what they call pages just by typing it in a prompt about what your page is all about. So all you have to do is typing something, how to get customers for small business, pick an audience, beginners, send this out. And in a few seconds, it basically starts creating a table of content. It creates an intro paragraph, different sections here, and it pulls sources from the internet. This is what's nice about perplexity. It's basically an AI search engine. So it's writing the articles the exact same way, not just from its knowledge base, from exact sources. So if I click on these sources, you could see it's pulling things from things like LinkedIn, Mixed Bloom, all these different websites, had a different section. So you use that to write this article over here and it looks really, really good. And what's really great about it is it's fully customizable, it's fully editable. So if I wanna change the top heading, for example, here's a bunch of different options that I have to choose from, or I could go ahead and just generate an image. I could choose photographic style here, and it's gonna then use AI to generate an image here. And if you like it, you could use it and move it around here to make sure it fits. And each section, you could also add little media right here, and it's gonna add media. And then you could go ahead and publish it. And then if anybody else gets this link, they could have a follow-up conversation with this exact same page with all the research that he pulled in for you. Now, the only thing is this lives on perplexity.ai. So I'm curious to see if Google is gonna index this and show this in the search result, these finished papers uh, that are mostly made by AI, but obviously you could customize it as much as you want. But if you wanna have this on your own blog, you still copy and paste. It's not gonna just sit on your WordPress blog, for example. But I made a dedicated perplexity pages video, so I'll link that here. I hope you found some of these useful, and I'll see you next time.